Who could ever forget this video? Clips just like this one. And a string of posts on Reddit made the driver known as Stay Humble somewhat famous here in the Triangle. Stay Humble, of course, her custom license plate. Well, she's off the roads this morning without a license, and now she's facing a trial. Yes, she is. And today, that woman, Diana Mams, could find out when that trial will start. Our Susanna Black uncovered her history, and she joins us now live from the Wake County Courthouse. Susanna, good morning. You have been covering the story for several months now. Oh, that's right. And that video clip that you just showed, that was out of Durham when she stopped a Durham school bus a couple of months ago. She is facing three separate traffic charges in Durham for that. This, what's happening in Wake County, is completely separate. And that's what she is facing trial for. We expect today for a trial date to be set for those two charges that you mentioned, speeding and reckless driving. And if you're wondering why traffic violations like those would be going to a jury trial, the Wake County District Attorney's Office says it is is highly unusual, but those are not the only things that are being considered in this case. CBS 17 was the first local news station to investigate MIMS earlier this year and alerted the Wake County District Attorney when we discovered MIMS has been using false names and driver's license numbers since the 1980s. We also found she's been involved in 31 car accidents, has 32 traffic violations on top of a lengthy criminal record. A grand jury indicted MIMS into Superior Court after she missed several court dates this year a move that made this trial a possibility and a certainty when she rejected a plea deal. Now, Mims is out of jail on bond. She is still under electronic monitoring, monitoring and is without a license. She's having to stay off the roads. A judge made that decision after he says he deemed she could be a public danger. For now, reporting in Wake County, I'm Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.